can assist you or tutor you more. If you have more questions, just email me. 83, uh, the 23rd question in the four sets of uh, chapter 6, uh, is a frame and machines. Uh, this well, in this one is the frame question. So determine the force in members FD and DB of the frame. Also find the horizontal and vertical components of reaction at pin C. Exert some members ABC and members EDC. As we're right over here. So first step is always find the local equilibrium to get started, right? And I've just done it over here. It's NA, right? These two forces are the only one that's shown. Over here, we do not write the normal force because this is the pinpoint connections of this member and this member. So this is really important over here. And um, that's why uh, we will write, we will go into details when we break down each frame. So we already find this. And second step is to blow up this entire thing and, and put back its pieces, sort of like that kind of a scenario. So breaks down each components uh, except the two member forces, right? Two member forces in this case would be FD and BD. The reason why is because two member forces, you know, if you draw one over here, draw one over here, there are two forces, so you can just uh, use the Pythagoras theorem and find the magnitude in this way. So um, let's get started. First, let's draw the member GE, right over here. And um, over here at E. So here's a force going this way, uh, six kilonewtons. And member force over here is um, going in this or this direction, we don't know. And number E uh, is going into some direction that we, we don't know. So we can just draw the whole, this entire frame, each component, and then sort of like uh, deduct it. But if we analyze this, this I guess, frame, from its um, real life situation, then we sort of can like determine which uh, the force, the inter internal force of the members, right? So this force, uh, 6kn, is making a downward, so is making this entire system rotate uh, counterclockwise. And these uh, two forces are stopping that from happening, right? This, especially this force, is stopping this from happening because of the triangle and the sta stabili stability that I have created over here. So we know that this force is going to the opposite. It's being compressed uh, by bit this force over here. So if a force internally, right, if we look at the internal forces, if I'm being compressed, my reaction is to push away, right? So the force is pushing on the joint because it's being, being compressed by this whole system. And so if this is, be is going this way, then that means that this force is going the opposite, so it's going this way. And this force, let's just uh, draw in tension and see what happens if we get the neg uh, negative numbers, then we will uh, change the sign by then. And over here, this is force FD, right? And this is a, um, a two force member, so we're just going to leave it like that, uh, E, so EY and EX. And then we move on to the next force. Uh, next components over here, which is, uh, let's draw it. Um, so, okay, we're going to use the questions. Okay, so use over here. Uh, components E, D, C, right? E and D and C. So we already know that this force is going this direction. Um, so yeah, the direction of the force of, of, is always the opposite of the previous one, right? Because it, it has for this joint and and which is this joint to be in e equilibrium. So, you know, these forces has to cancel each other out. That's why they're always the opposite. So over here, EX is going to the right. That means over here, EX uh, is going into the negative uh, x-axis direction. And this is going up. So that means uh, EY at component EDC is going into the negative y direction, right? EY and EX. And this force is going this way uh, because this over here is going up. And it's also, you know, compressed, so it's pushing on the joint. Um, this force is FD and uh, BD over here, right? BD over here, sorry, I didn't draw it really into scale. Um, BD over here, right? And let's 
let's keep uh, maybe right over here. And this force, oh, we, sorry, I went a one step ahead, BD over here. We don't really know what BD is, and for C as well, right, for C, well, C, normal force is going to go up like that, and this force, we don't know where it's going to go. So let's just draw it over here, and um, C is... Excuse me, C over here has to go up, and over here it has to go uh, to the negative direction. Sorry, my bad. Right, I should have drawn this one first before I went on to that one. NA, we already figured out it's going this way. So therefore, this force over here by BD must be going into this direction, right? So move on to this one. Oh, and this force over here has to counteract this one. The F uh, in the y direction, so x uh, c y over here is going this uh, going to the positive, c x going to the positive, uh, b uh, this is uh, b d over here, right? So if this is going to the bottom left, this is must be going to the top right in this component. This is going to the top, so c is going to the bottom. Over here, c is going to the right, so uh, this one c must be going to the left, right? And here we go. Now I think I've we got all of the forces uh, figured out, and they all seems like going into the right direction. We're really lucky, you know, if we miss one out, then we have to go back and change everything. But I think this is really good, and uh, so let's start with start our uh, calculations. Um, first, we we'll try to use the one that's uh, already have a given force, right? So six. Uh, kilonewton says so let's find uh, the some of the moments at E right some of the moments at E get rid of the most amount of unknowns and we will use 6 equals 0 so we will have uh, 6 kilonewtons uh, times so 2 plus 3 uh, 2 plus 1 equals 3 uh, meters right and it's going into the po uh, negative Counterclockwise, so the positive direction. Sorry, not meant to draw the direction out. And uh, minus FD, right? FD is creating a well. It's going. We're going to use the y force of FD, and it's uh, going into a clockwise direction. So it's negative. So FD over here times the ratio. Uh, so Trying to use the y, and this this one over here. So if you calculate it, one square plus uh, two square square root of the results should give you square root of five. And times the result, we're using the y, so it's um, two over square root of five uh, times one meters, and this whole thing equal to zero. And um, so if you plug everything into your calculator, FD should give you uh, 9 times square root of 5, right? 9 times square root of 5. And EX, sorry, FD equals n um, 9 times square root of 5. And then I, now let's find the rest of the unknowns, right? Uh, EY and EX. So uh, EX, well, using, using the sum of the uh, forces in the x direction is going right is the positive then uh, 9 times square root of 5 times uh, 2 over square root of 5 which is the you know the um, sorry this is the y direction when that I'm going to use the 1 instead of 2 1 over here right 1 is the x direction as going uh, this is going to the negative direction, so negative right here, and um, plus uh, plus ex right equals to zero. So uh, ex should uh, theoretically be nine kilonewtons, and then we use the sum of the forces. Uh, into the y direction equal to zero uh, that would be 
it's going up, so it's 9 times square root. So it's positive. 9 times square root of 5 times uh, 2 over square root of 5. Uh, and this is going up as well. So plus ui and minus 6 kilonewtons equals to 0. And so cancels out. 8 minus 6 is 19. Uh, sorry. What am I talking about? 12. Uh, 12 kilonewtons uh, equals negative ui, right? Oops. So I think we draw it the opposite direction. So ey over here should really be facing down, right? So that means over here, over here, um, the ey should be going back up. So yeah. Um, here we go, funny y, funny x, and now let's move on to this uh, components over here, right, EDC. So EDC, we already know what EY is. Uh, EY is 12 kilonewtons, uh, EX is 9 kilonewtons, and FD, we already found that too, which is uh, 9 times square root of 5, right? Uh, now we can use the sum of the moments at C, going counterclockwise is positive, right? Get rid of the two unknowns, so left with one unknown, one equation is where you're guaranteed to solve what BD is. Nice. So 9 kilonewtons, right, EX, times the distance 3 meters. It's creating a counterclockwise direction, so it's positive. And uh, FD is going this way, right, the X uh, direction of the force. It's creating a clockwise, so it's negative uh, FD minus FD times uh, what is this? times the x direction, so that is one over square root of five, and um, BD over here. It's also minus right going to the same direction as FD. BD here times the distance, which is one meter over here. Oh yeah, sorry, this is times one meter as well. And uh, BD times the ratio over here, so one one, so this is a square root of two over here. So it's one over square root of two uh, times the one meters. And um, plug everything into your calculator, you should get BD equals to, um, sorry, this equals zero, not BD, but zero. BD should give you 18 times square root of two. So perfect, we get 18 times square root of two. And now we have all the forces, so let's use the sum of the forces at Y and X to find the CY and CX. Sum of the forces in X direction, let's start with that equals to zero, therefore nine times uh, square root of 5 is going to the negative direction uh, times 2 over square root of 5. Uh, we're talking about this force and this force, right? Plus uh, 12 kilonewtons and uh, plus, sorry, this is positive. And um, this is positive minus the 9 kilonewtons that we found out earlier, right, which is EX, and um, plus 18 times square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2, which is the x direction of BD, uh, minus EX, so because it's going to the negative direction. And in this case, uh, EX should be, uh, I mean CX should be 18 uh, kilonewtons. Move everything to this side, 18. This whole thing cancels out. Yeah. And uh, some of the forces in y direction equals to zero, going upwards the plus. Sorry, over here going right to the pot is the plus. And uh, well, in this way, well now the square uh, nine times square root of five is negative times one over square root of five, right? The y direction 
uh, plus BD, what we found earlier is 18 times square root of 2 uh, times uh, 1 over square root of 2 and uh, plus the 12 kilonewtons that we have on EY and minus uh, CY give us uh, 0, right? And plug everything into a calculator, CY should give you 12 uh, kilonewtons. And remember, we found CX and CY, and this is only for ABC, right? Uh, sorry, for EDC, right? These forces are only exerting on this force over here, and so we say that CX is um, 18 kilonewtons, and CY is 12 kilonewtons. And then we go on to CX on CY exerting on the member A, B, and C. So we already found what BD is. BD is 18 uh, times square root of 2. Right? This is BD. And uh, we already know what NA is. NA is 6 kilonewtons. Right? Um, then, so in this case, we can use the sum at, uh, some of the moments at A sum of the moments at A, going this way is the positive, uh, equal to 0. Therefore, 18 times square root of 2 plus uh, 1 over square root of 2 times 2 meters. Uh, this is creating a uh, pos uh, clockwise direction, so it's negative, and uh, plus Cx, I mean, sorry, C, why did I have these backwards? CY and um, over here is CY and over here is CX, right? Time plus CY times uh, three meters. Uh, this whole thing gives you zero. So CY um, 1836. So CY is 12 kilonewtons. Wow, just like we predicted. And um, some of the forces in X direction going this way equals to zero. So uh, Negative 18 times square root of 2 times 1 over square root of 2 equals to Cx. So Cx equals to 18 kilonewtons. Wow, so look at that. Cx and Cy actually um, equal to each other in this case. 12 kilonewtons and 18 kilonewtons. And dB over here, we already found what it is. Um, it's 18 times square root of 2. Kilonewtons. Sorry, let me write that in this real quick. And um, that's it. That's the uh, entire question. And you see, so for frames and trusses, this entire unit, unit six, chapter six, uh, it, it really requires you to pay, uh, you know, high standards attention because you got to keep track of everything, right? Everything that's going on. And if you make one little mistakes, it's really discouraging because you got to go back and change everything. Um, so hopefully your professor won't give you too many homeworks and questions uh, on exam, right? Um, but if you do, they really, really test you on the knowledge of, you know, being organized and uh, util utilizing every single knowledge they've used, except in 3D stuff uh, from previous chapters. So... Yeah, uh, thank you, and uh, hopefully this video was a help. Good luck on your studies. I'll see you soon. Bye. If you have more questions, uh, specific questions you would like me to do, please comment in the comment section down below.